I got a question for you. Do you know what time it is? As you can see, something very important came in today. Let's have a look. See what we got. All right, so you guys know what this is. This is the coil pack that we've been waiting for for the S600. Now, in case you haven't gotten a close-up of this before, here she is. And what I did is I upgraded this um, part from the original part number on my S600. Let's see if we can get this on camera here for you guys to the. Uh, uh, 0680 instead of 79. This is the upgraded coil pack for my car. Now, what you can see is, hopefully you can see, we've definitely got some oil. Maybe a little blurry there. We've got a little bit of oil in here. It's gonna be from leaking valve covers. Um, normally I'd wanna to try to clean that out, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything to this at all other than get it installed in the car right now. All right, so we're probably Gonna skip all the BS that you guys don't wanna watch. Um, we'll take the cover off, and then when it comes time to actually pulling out the coil pack assembly, I think we'll just do a time lapse because it's really not fun to watch. We got a 10 millimeter here, we got a pick, and then we've got a 3 16 uh, like an Allen, Allen head. This just pops off like so. You've got your ignition control computer right here. This one computer, half of it controls these coils, half of it controls these coils. We've got our uh, air tube here that you just kind of pull off, pop it out. We've got a little cable here, just pop it down, pull the cable off like so. Next, we move back here. We've got a couple Allens in the back loosen that up I've done this so many times I've become practically an expert at it move to the other side we got one more and usually there's one underneath this computer but somebody broke it in the past so we don't have to worry about it just don't lose your bolts and then this actually slides back up and then forward off it comes this is really not a difficult task then we've got several uh well that's not a 10 these are weird some of these i think we've got one or two that are tens and another one or two that are 11 there's a 10 right there and i think the other one's either a 11 or a 12 Looks like the rest of these are um, an 11. So interesting, we had one 10 millimeter, the rest are 11s. We've got a bolt right here, and this bolt holds this ground wire in place. After that, it's just a matter of removing a few more of these bolts and out comes the coil pack. All right, now for the fun part is getting this thing removed. Um, you gotta give it a good wiggle. <laughs> You really got to kind of wiggle back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, it should start letting up. And if I remember right, we had to pull this off to gain some clearance. It's definitely not the easiest to come out, but it's not the hardest either. Now that I've done it a few times, there you have it. All right, so as you can see, the insulators, we got one, two, three out of 12. So we got to reach in there and pull those insulators out. And here's what the old one looks like right here. Um, and the part number for this one is, oh, 150-0480-Q1. And the part number for the new one is 275-150-06-80-Q5. So I did check and everything said 
that the new part number is an upgraded version for this car and that it will work. So the next trick is taking you some needle nose pliers and you gotta dig down in these spark plug holes and uh, find all of the insulators and drag them out of there. It'll go something like this. And you just reach down in there and continue on. All right, so here's the new part. We're just gonna install it exactly as it came. All the original pieces are on it. This is it, folks. Just be very gentle with these when you're installing them. They are very delicate. Just get them in place. You don't have to force them. I mean, you will have to put some pressure on them, but once you get it lined up, you'll feel that everything is starting to fall into place for you. And then you just give it a little pressure gently all the way around. I like to work my way on the outside, on the inside. Oh, that went way easier than last time. And All right, let's fast forward. I'll install all these bolts and then we'll see what happens when we go to fire her up for the first time. All right, now take our plug, plug it in, clip it on. We don't need to hook up any of this other stuff to find out how it runs yet. I can't believe I forgot to pull this out, but... Uh, so now what we do is we clear the codes and we cross our fingers and we hope for the best. So we're gonna climb in to the pimp mobile and we're gonna pull out our fancy Ancel FX4000. This is one of very few code readers I found that will work on every system on this Benz. Um, most code readers can't read anything other than uh, just your basic check engine light. This particular reader can actually diagnose every system in this car, including uh, seat belts and airbags and air conditioning and the stereo system. It can diagnose everything. And this thing is under 250 bucks uh, and it's updatable on the, on the web. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description because this, this tool, thank you to Ansel, this tool has been immensely helpful to repairing this car. We're gonna go down to S-Class, 220. We're gonna go up to 8002, gasoline left-hand drive. We're gonna go down to S-600. We're gonna perform a quick test. And this quick test is gonna test every single control module and basically every sensor in this car. So this quick test is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. Needless to say, we're just gonna fast forward right now. Okay, so here we are getting into the engine diagnostics menu. We're gonna go in here and it's going to tell us right now there are no fault codes present. So that is good. But just to be sure, we're gonna erase the fault memory one more time. Switch, switch ignition off, push okay. Switch on ignition, push okay. It's communicating with the control unit. And codes erased successfully. Now we can move this to the side and we find out, whew, this is nerve wracking. This is a $600 guess, a $600 guess right here. Is it gonna run on all 12s? I don't feel a misfire. I'm nervous, guys. Now here's the trick. Sometimes it would fire up and run perfectly, but as soon as you put it into gear and gave it a little gas, I would put my foot on the brake and give it a little gas in drive to put a load on the engine. And as soon as you did that, the thing fell flat on its face and you lost three cylinders. 
So we're gonna let it idle down real quick. All right, she's idled down. I'm gonna put it in gear. I'm gonna give it just a tad bit of gas and see if we lose that three coils again. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? She runs. All 12 cylinders firing exactly like they're supposed to. Whoo, boy. Now this is great news because I had a lot of people telling me it could be the uh, coil computer, it could be the spark plugs. Um, I'm so thankful right now that that $600 I spent was not wasted. You know, this is what it was. The coil pack's on there. These flies are killing me. It's 100 degrees out here, guys. Literally, 100 degrees. I cannot explain to you how uh, soaking wet I am right now, but it was well worth it to bring you guys this video. We replaced the coil pack, and she runs just like a charm, man. All 12 cylinders are firing. No check engine light at the moment. I'm thrilled. Now, obviously, you know, we got to go put it through its paces, give it a little bit of gas, you know, open it up on the highway, have some fun with it. But for this video, hey, I know it's a short one, guys, but this is a big one. The coil pack's replaced and it's fixed. And now, as, as much as I'm talking about, yeah, we're gonna get ready to sell it. Now that it's fixed, it's like, maybe we wanna hold on to it and enjoy it a little bit, but probably not. I probably need to just sell it. That's probably what I need to do. I don't know, I don't know. I'm torn, guys. I'm torn. What do you think? I'm not saying that I'm going to take your advice and do it, but if you think I should sell it and just move on, let's go find some other stuff, video thumbs up. If you think I should keep it for a while, hit the video thumbs down. I know a lot of you don't want to give my video a thumbs down, but what do you think? Do you think we should get rid of it, move on to something a little more practical to work on? Um, thumbs up if that's what you think, or do you think we should just keep it, sit on it, enjoy it for a while? If, you, if that's what you think, give the video a thumbs down. Don't feel bad about giving it a thumbs down. Doesn't bother me one bit. All right, guys, check this out. We found this little squirrel. Or really, he found us. He fell out of a tree in our backyard. We heard a loud thump on the ground, followed by a lot of screaming. And picked him up. Thought he was going to die. My brother came out and wrapped him up. I went out and got him some Pedialyte and some puppy milk from PetSmart. And my brother fed him. And then, to get him to use the bathroom, you have to rub their genitals. So my brother proceeded to uh, rub him on his genitals. And now, he is content, he is satisfied, and he is sleeping. His eyes aren't open, his ears aren't open. He seems like he's alright, though. He took a hell of a fall from that tree, but I think he's going to be okay. We're going to get out of here because i got to go take this thing on a drive. When I say I, I mean we, but you're going to have to wait till tomorrow to see the drive video. Um, and we'll go over a few more things in depth after uh, we take our test drive, get it on the road, have a little fun with it. So if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button right now, please. I appreciate it. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified when there are future posts, future videos from me. Also, I have merch for sale. I know a lot of you aren't interested in my merchandise, but at the end of this video, at the very right side of your screen, you'll see a little icon with a shirt. You can click on that to check out the merchandise I have for sale. Don't forget to hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow me on those guys. I really appreciate it. I'm going to get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. I will catch you soon, meaning tomorrow in the next one.